What's up everybody? This is Betty Garza, your local realtor right here in South Florida. And today we're gonna to be talking about the top five reasons to raise a family in Wellington, Florida. We're getting at it right here. Okay, so if Wellington, Florida is a city that you've been thinking about and considering relocating to or moving to, then you'll definitely wanna stay tuned to this video because I'm gonna be going over the top five reasons why it's a good city to raise a family in. Wellington personally is one of my favorite cities. My son was just asking me the other day, hey mom, if we ever moved from where we live now, what city would you move to? And I had said another city and he's like, what about Wellington? And I thought, okay, Wellington's, you know, a good area as well. And so today that's what persuaded me to go over the top five reasons of Wellington, Florida, a good place to raise a family. So let's get to it. The first reason and topic that I want to go over is the strength of the school systems. Whenever you hear locals or I get calls from clients that are looking to relocate to this city, it's usually because of the school system. Wellington has a great list of public schools and private schools that are available. People like to be in the city. They will specifically move to the city because of the schools. These schools have a great reputation. They are A rated. If you go online, I usually go to niche.com and you can see the ratings overall for the schools in Wellington are, you know, up there. They are good schools most people move to the city because of that reason. So if you're one with kids or your plans in the next couple of years is to have kids, or maybe you have kids that are like toddler right now, and you know that this is a city that you want to move to and raise your children in and will be in, you know, at that school age in the next couple of years, Wellington could be a place for you. Definitely go to that website, look it up. You'll see how much and how highly people talk about these schools. And definitely, if you have not been to Wellington, Florida, you'll want to take a drive through, get to know the area. It is definitely a very unique city that has so much to offer, though schools, as far as raising a family in this city, is definitely number one. Topic number one is the strength of the school system in Wellington. To name some of the schools, in case you want to look those up in Wellington, the first one is, of course, Wellington Elementary. Equestrian Trails Elementary. When I looked these up, they were top rated, you know, stars, good reviews. And of course, with every good review, there's bad reviews as well, though the good t tended to kind of override those. And then there's Emerald Cove Middle School and there's Polo Park Middle School. I specifically know a little bit more about these because my son is going to middle school next year. And I, as I mentioned in another video within Palm Beach County, they also have the Choice Program. And Polo Park and Emerald Cove um, both offer a tech, you know, kind of a computer program. And so those specific ones do offer specific programs and the choice program. If Wellington is a city that you don't necessarily are able to move to, but you do want your child to go to school there, those two middle schools I know do offer the choice program and what that means is that if you live outside of Wellington you aren't necessarily zoned for that specific school you still have a chance to enroll in the choice program the school year prior to the school year you want them to attend and it's a lottery so then you find out a few months later when and if they were chosen if they got a seat offered to them and they still have a chance to attend that middle school. And then you have Wellington High School that is also top rated and a good school. Okay, my next topic is that Wellington is the equestrian capital of the world. If you are one, you and your family are involved in the equestrian, polo, sporting, and also horse jumping, then Wellington is definitely the city for you. Between the months of November and April, of course, the actual you know events and racing and competitions start in January. People start to come to the city of Wellington in the month of 
November. They come with their horses. People from literally 43 countries come to the city of Wellington for these specific events. So if you are one that is in the equestrian world and participate in these events and competitions, then Wellington could be your full-time city, you know, for you, for your kids to live. And that way you don't have to travel to participate in these competitions. Or if you're one that you and your family like to go out and watch these competitions, if you like the polo sport, I hear great things about it. I hear it is amazing, it's fun. The atmosphere is a lot of fun, great food, drinks, and it's family friendly event for sure. And they're usually held on the weekends throughout these months, every single weekend. There's different things that go on on different days. I was speaking to another real estate agent that I did a deal on, and it seems like they have different vendors that attend these events. And that's how she ended up. She lives way west and she's got a lot of land. So she ended up with a little piglet. And so different things happen there where it makes it super family friendly and fun. Even though you don't participate in the competition, it's something for you to do with the family and attend these events and just have make a day of it and have a great time so great food great activities go on within you know the polo event and you know it's different competitions that go on and i hear that people win big money prizes so that's why they travel to wellington to participate within this event all right so if you're finding this information useful and you want to know everything there is to know about eating, sleeping, playing, living, working here in South Florida, then definitely you are welcome to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so that you're notified every time I post a new video, which is weekly. And there's also, you can shoot me a text, give me a call, click on the link in the description where you can set up a one-on-one -on -one with me to then we can chit chat and go over what it is you're looking for. But I can't help unless you do one of those things. All right, guys, so my next topic is parks and outside things to do with the family is definitely why Wellington is on my list of top reasons to raise a family. Many, many beautiful parks within Wellington. There's nature, you know, trails that you can go on. There's outside activities that can happen. The city itself also has a lot of different things that they host and participate in uh, throughout the year, uh, whether it's a holiday or you know, you literally can go online and find out what is going on in the city of Wellington. And I guarantee there's always something going on. They're always, you know, whether it's at a park or whether it's at their rec center. I know that they have like a public pool. If you're one, you and the kids maybe um, want to take some swimming lessons. They have that there. Everything is available within the city of Wellington. It truly is amazing parks. And maybe if those parks are not for you or you don't exactly have, maybe they don't meet your needs. There are local parks also uh, not far from Wellington that are available. There's Royal Palm Beach Park, which they have renovated over the last few years. It's absolutely gorgeous. Fourth of July fireworks show is spectacular. It's just a huge open space with a stage in the middle of it. They have food trucks that come out there and you just totally make a day of it. And then once the night comes, the fireworks go off. So that's a local park that's available. There's also Okihili Park, uh, which has a lot to offer as well. And during the Christmas season, they have a whole trail that they set up with lights. And you literally, you take the car, you put the family in, and you can drive and look at all the beautiful lights going on there. Okihili also offers BMX in case the kids are into bike, you know, competition, racing, and riding. BMX is there as well. They have a full trail. I drive by uh, when these races are going on and people are out there with their RVs and tents. And I mean, they go all out and they are out there for the entire weekend. There's also water sports available at this park. There's the shark park. Uh, which has like inflatables and it's like an obstacle course. Uh, so if for some reason you can't find things to do in Wellington, there are definitely surrounding areas that have a lot to offer. And just across from the Okihili Park, there's also a horse park and trail back in there. And they have a bike trail where you can take the mountain bike, park the car, get on your bike and they have uh, trails back in, I mean, you wouldn't even like, you drive by these wooded areas, 
you wouldn't even think that the trails are back there, but they are. And there's two or three different levels of difficulty. So of course, like the blue, let's say is easy. And then you go into green and it's a little harder. And then you go into yellow and that's the most difficult. And, uh, but it's different levels for different levels of, you know, bike riders, whatever level you are as far as skill and bike riding, mountain biking, those trails are there too. So if Wellington doesn't offer things that you're looking for, there are surrounding areas that do, which make it super fun for family days um, to get out and do, uh, whether it's, you know, planning a birthday party, celebration of whatever sorts it is, you will definitely find those things to do. Okay, topic number four is sports. Okay, so I might be a little biased, but I know a little bit more about as far as soccer because that's what my son plays. And recently, as he gets older, I swear I'm doing more and more research on different things. Um, so he's been playing soccer since he was about six or seven years old. And he currently is at a recreational league, which is a great league, uh, not far from Wellington, uh, though, now I've done my research because he truly does show a skill. And when I did my research, Wellington Wave came up. So Wellington, as far as sports and skill and things that they offer is a huge plus. So if the little ones um, do play sports, Wellington's a great city for that. They have a great reputation. I know a little bit more about the soccer part of it. And it's also all year long. They travel to different cities throughout the state of Florida. It's very competitive. Uh, so if your kiddos do competitively participate in sports, Wellington has a lot to offer. So I know that they offer the soccer, uh, flag football, all different kinds of sports to where the kids can participate. Softball, baseball, also that park that I mentioned that's near Wellington also offers a lot of recreational activities and sports, not only for the kids, but for adults as well. I see families out there all the time that are, you know, they have the whole family out there while dad's out in the field playing softball, baseball, and it's just truly a great thing to participate in. Uh, to make a family event of it. Uh, Wellington definitely offers all of that, whatever sport it is that you're looking for. I know that pickleball is becoming a huge thing. They offer that as well. Um, they have golf courses, and if those golf courses are not something you're looking for, then, you know, again, surrounding areas and cities definitely offer that for you. Whatever sport it is you're looking for, Wellington has it. Okay, and last but not least, my last topic is location. Wellington is truly a great location for many different reasons. Whatever it is that you're looking for, whatever type of home it is you're looking for, Wellington likely has it. It's a single family with maybe a little bit of a smaller lot, uh, not too much to maintain. If you're one that doesn't have a lot of time, you can find that. If you are one that is looking for a larger home on a larger lot, Wellington off also offers that. Uh, they have gated communities, non-gated, HOA, non-HOA, whatever it is you're looking for, Wellington has it. And also right now the market as far as home prices range from you know the mid fours all the way up into the multi-million dollar uh, price range. So that goes to show you that it has everything to offer what, no matter what it is you're looking for. Smaller homes, bigger homes, way larger homes, larger lots, smaller lots, um, HOAs where maybe they help with the maintenance of the property. Um, gated, if you feel like you know you would feel safer in a gated community because you are um, you do have a family. Uh, maybe you know mom is, works from home and you're gone at work all day. The gated community makes you feel a little safer. Uh, they have that to offer. Um, and then of course within the communities you have the uh, pool where maybe you guys can make a day of it on a Saturday because of course the weather here in you know in Wellington Florida is also great you know summer days do get hot so you'll definitely want to take a dip in the pool it's a location and it's not far from your major airports like Palm Beach International Fort Lauderdale and definitely Miami are not far at all so you have those choices that you can choose from they also have the wellington green mall if uh you know when it comes to school shopping or regular shopping or an occasional shopping whatever it might be wellington mall has a lot to offer as well so location for me is definitely um, up there in choice if you want to go downtown 
to maybe the square at Rosemary Square or Clematis. It's not far from nightlife if that's something maybe mom and dad want to go out on a date night. Wellington is not far from those areas either. So location is definitely number five for me with uh, top five reasons of raising a family in Wellington, Florida. Uh, so don't forget, ring that bell and hit that subscribe button if you found this information useful because I want to help others just like you. Send me a text. Uh, give me a call, send me an email, or just click in the link below to chat. Um, set up a one-on-one -on -one with me and chit chat. We can go over what your wants and needs are, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.